Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. I am on the couch. <laughs> Today's haul is going to be a mixture of a few hauls uh, because we have been ordering our groceries since we are all quarantined. And also I have been sick. So I have been in my own little quarantine for about two weeks um, dealing with the virus. So um, this is me stocking back up after our 28 day, actually it's been, it'll be almost 30 days. Um, by the time you guys see this video of the last haul video where I told you guys we were trying to get enough in the house to last us 28 days. Well, it's time to replenish. I am feeling better, although I'm still taking it slow, but I'll show you what we got from our Instacart order and our Amazon fresh order, okay? Let's go. If you guys have not liked the video yet, you might as well just go ahead and give it a thumbs up because you know you're gonna like this. You like haul videos if you're watching this video. Uh, and make sure you are subscribed to our page so that way you get notifications every time we have a video go up. I am standing up now. <laughs> you can see all the things on the table. Um, so I'm gonna use a lot of my energy to show you guys these groceries from Kroger. So I got this via, via Instacart. And I picked Kroger because I've actually been liking getting the Kroger groceries when we do instant carts. So I am excited because not only did she find bread, but she also got me sugar and flour and baking soda. I'm so excited. So I get to do all the things. So this was like, I feel like she was a godsend because we really, really needed these things. All right, let's hop into it. I'm already out of breath. Um, this is whole wheat, 100% whole wheat, wide pan bread. Um, we don't usually get this when we get our Aldi hauls, but um, my husband likes this type of bread and I'm trying to get things that he can take for lunch um, because I don't want him stopping anywhere. He's an essential worker. I would rather him either come home for lunch and have things ready to go um, or take it with him. So this actual, this whole loaf is just for him. So that's for him to make sandwiches or do whatever he wants to for his lunches. Um, I also got one of the Kroger honey wheat bread, which is another bread that we don't really have. We don't do honey wheat. We usually do 100% whole wheat from Aldi, but I like that this one has no high fructose corn syrup, which is important to us in our house. Um, so this will be the kid bread or the kid and me bread. <laughs> um, so that'll get used up. We do have one loaf or maybe half a loaf left right now uh, here, which is... Um, something that we'll eat up first and then we'll hop into this one. Okay, so next here, let's go back. I have um, creamy peanut butter. We are, we're out of peanut butter, which is impossible, but I have been stuck in a room for two weeks. So apparently they ate a lot of peanut butter while I was in the room. Uh, so I went ahead and got two jars of that. By the way, um, I was able to come downstairs after my little quarantine, see what we had, and I still had time to add things to my Instacart order, which was really nice, um, and she just dropped these off. So I had a couple hours in between that little buffer, and I could add things. So there are a couple things that I did add as I came downstairs to see um, what was left in the pantry. So two of those. This was a substitution. Um, I asked for olive oil because we are pretty much all out. So she substituted it with the lighter flavor olive oil, which is fine. Uh, I just, I need olive oil. So I'll take it any way I can get it. Um, we were out of salt, you guys, which is shocking to me that we will be out of salt um, because who runs out of salt? But we did, so she got salt for me. Um, she also got grits. We haven't had grits in a million years. Aldi never carries them here in the Midwest anymore. Um, I don't know why they don't carry grits at our Aldi. Um, and I've gotten used to getting them from Aldi in New Jersey. So I am I was really excited to add grits to the order because I was like, oh my gosh, it's a, it's a regular store. I can see if they have grits. And they did, and she got them for me. And so I got uh, vegetable shortening, which is another thing that I usually keep in the pantry but we actually ran out a while back and i forgot to replenish um i use vegetable shorten to make my biscuits so um and i do like to make it with pie crust so i wanted to get this plus it's just cheaper than butter using butter for biscuits and we're going to be eating a lot of biscuits coming up <laughs> um being on this quarantine a lot of quick breads will be going down now that i'm out of my little quarantine okay next is um ragu sauce Ragu, ragu is my favorite sauce of all time. Um, the Aldi sauce is delicious as well, and I've been very 
uh, surprised by how much I love that one, but ragu has always been my first love. Any other sauce actually breaks me out in hives. So it's either Aldi brand or ragu. Um, I got the garden combo because we've been liking that as well. It adds more veggies to the mix. And we've been doing a lot of like um, no meat or, you know, those types of, of Italian dishes. And this helps if we can use the garden combo. And I'll even add even more veggies to that when I do an Italian dish lately. So we got four of those, four. Then I got some kielbasa. This is gonna be our substitution for our breakfast sausages. When we have pancake Sunday, we'll do kielbasa instead. So I get two of those. Um, I got um, some turkey breast. This is for my husband's lunches. So that's a lunch option for him. Sriracha, we've been out of sriracha for, I wanna say nine months because Aldi just stopped carrying it. So this was another brand name type thing that I was like, yeah, that we're ordering from Kroger, might as well go ahead and get it. So this will last us obviously a long time, but got the sriracha. Vegetable oil, this is another thing where I came downstairs and saw that all my vegetable oil was gone. I'm like, what happened to the oil? So I asked my husband, could you please kind of slow down on the vegetable oil? I'm thinking he's been frying a lot of potatoes. Uh, so a lot of the oil has been used up. So I went ahead and got another one. So I'm hoping that will last us. I will make it last because I really don't wanna spend a lot more money on vegetable oil. Okay, so I have um organic red seedless grapes which wasn't a bad price i mean there's not a lot well there is a lot there's just not as many as i'm used to getting it at aldi um and i was pretty impressed with the organic price so i was like let's go ahead and get that um my girl isn't an apple girl but the the two other kids they like apples so we have apples we have oranges we have lemons but i want to get something that she can have as well, so I went ahead and added some grapes to the mix. So put that back over there. More peppers. So we got peppers. Um, I forget when we got peppers, but oh, I know when. So you'll see that in a minute when I show you the Amazon order. Uh, but we got um, more peppers. So I want to get a lot of peppers. Peppers are probably my favorite way to stretch a meal, and I can stretch an Italian meal, a Asian meal um just a regular american style meal so like homemade hamburger helper i can put peppers in it so i will always grab peppers when i can so she got me three three bell peppers um i got just a pound is this a pound or two pounds a pound a pound of the kroger ground beef in the little tube i figured this would be easier for her to find than um the ones in the regular fresh quote unquote package and this i can freeze um and I don't have to use it right away, or I can use it this week. We're trying to not have too much um, of the like meat type protein. And since it's spring anyway, that fits our family. This is what we do every spring and summer. We like slow down on the meat and we increase the veggies and the fruits. So we're just following suit and kind of being on this quarantine makes it a little bit easier to do that because it seems like a lot of the fruits and veggies and all that fresh stuff at, are at good prices and always in um, whether you order instacart shipped or amazon fresh they always have a lot of fresh fruit and veggies available which is really nice so i just got the one pound i will stretch that into one of my meals like homemade hamburger helper or spaghetti or something where i can totally stretch that that one pound so i'm running out of breath <laughs> Um, got some zucchini because zucchini is another thing that I love to just add into a bunch of stuff. It stretches a meal, but it's healthy. So I had her get me some zucchini as well. I got iceberg lettuce. This is another thing for my husband's lunches. Um, and for me, now that I can taste again, I will be doing more salads for me to have. So iceberg lettuce for him, but I also got, um, some green leaf lettuce. So I'm going to mix the two. So it's it's healthier. Um, this isn't like going that great. I don't know. I guess I have to open the bag. Maybe I'm just I'm just seeing it through the bag. But hopefully it's actually better than it looks on the outside. Um, but I didn't get a lot, as you can see. Just enough to kind of mix it in and make this a little more hearty of a salad. Um, I also got um, broccoli. So I actually wanted broccoli crowns. She said that they were out of the regular broccoli crowns and then she got me the organic broccoli, which is fine. I love when the broccoli has the stalks on it. 
because these are actually perfect for stir fry. So we'll use the crowns for a side dish for a regular meal and then I will save these, the stems, the stalks, um, chop them up pretty fine or like thin and then use it in a stir fry. It's so good, y'all. Don't waste these. Don't waste that. It's good. Hearty, good. Kids like it. Um, almond milk. Okay, milk. Milk has been tough for me to find. Almond milk specifically. The kids drink almond milk um, and it's just been tough. Like it's, they have oat milk, oat milk now. So maybe we'll try oat milk this time around since it's been a little bit difficult to find almond milk. So I only got the one almond milk, so hopefully this will stretch. We have a little bit of almond milk left in the fridge, um, but that's it. That's all I got. So the kids are going to have to be very selective with when they're going to drink their milk. I also got um, Welch's grape juice, and I got this so we could do communion. That's funny. Um, so this is the only reason why I got this. I wanted us to be able to do communion um, as you guys are or as I'm taping this, it is Holy Week. So I wanted our family to be able to do communion together. Um, we didn't get to do it for Palm Sunday, but we will do it together before Resurrection Sunday. Um, I think I already showed this to you. Yes, I did. That's the, the, the green lettuce. Oh, green onions. So I got green onions. These are very cheap. And the reason why I got this is because they can grow. So I can keep a few and have them grow on their own and I can keep using the green onions. And I love doing this in the spring. And this is, again, another great addition to a stir fry or a regular American dish. So just adding, I'm trying to add as much veggies to everything as possible. Um, so yeah, that's why I got these. And I think they were like 30 cents. So totally worth the price. Next is the pepper jack cheese. This is another thing for my husband to have for one of his lunches. Uh, he's the only one in the house that eats it, so I got him uh, a block of that. I got some more butter. This was a substitution, actually. I asked for a different type that was a little bit less expensive, um, but she got this one. Um, she got salted, which is fine because that's actually what I asked for. I like salted. Um, but this is the Kroger brand. It was like 20 cents more for her to get it. And I was like, that's fine. She saved me a lot of money on certain other things that she replaced. So I was like, oh my gosh, yes. Um, so it was just 20 cents more and I was fine with that. Ooh, this, okay. So I'm excited to talk about these two. So I did a lot of pricing out and I realized that number one, I could get a big giant block of cheese at Kroger. This is not something that I can get at Aldi. But when I priced this out with how much you get in each block, it was actually way less expensive than me getting these, these types. Um, so I went ahead and I got the big old block of mozzarella because we use a lot of mozzarella and a big old block of cheddar cheese because we use cheddar every single Monday for mac and cheese. And then we use it through the week for homemade Lunchables. So this, these two things saved me a lot of money. So I was really excited about that. I probably should have gotten more than two, but that's okay. Um, I got a two pack of cream cheese because I need cream cheese for some recipes coming up. So I said, might as well go ahead and get a two pack. And again, getting the two pack, I saved money instead of getting the one box each. Um, so I went ahead and did that. I got, oh, I'm getting winded y'all. I got um, long grain rice because I wanted to get just some more rice. We have a bit of rice. We have brown and white rice mixed together. So I wanted to get one more white rice to mix in with that other mixture. And hopefully that'll last us. We have been eating a lot of rice or they have been eating a lot of rice. Um, so this is just yet another thing to kind of mix together in in our uh, our rice mix. This is one of the things where she helped me save money. So we need more of the um, Swiffer pads. We use Swiffers on our floor in the kitchen once a week and in the bathrooms. Um, so I actually asked for Swiffer pads. She said they were out, but she did find the Kroger brand of them, which saved me a lot of money. So I'm so glad that she um, offered that suggestion. And that gave me, I think that saved me about four or five bucks, which was nice. Um, Crest, so this is one of the things that she suggested. This was a replacement of um, the other toothpaste that I asked for. This was more money, but that's okay. We will make that stretch. This is actually for the kids, for their bathroom. They're running out of toothpaste. 
so I wanted to at least get one that'll last them for the next month and this totally will um probably two months uh so it was you know more expensive but it'll last for a long time this one is um baking soda so this was one of the last minute things that I added um I got up bright and early this morning and came downstairs and saw that my baking soda was all gone so I was like oh my gosh hurry hurry so I went and I added baking soda to my order and she got it so excited about that um cereal so apparently the kids decided that the box of cereal that we had left so this was the last two cereal saturdays they were going to eat the whole box that day so it's like okay well <laughs> that's a problem so i went ahead and got two boxes of the kroger brand um this is actually my favorite cereal i like this one um, and then I got the Honey Nut Toasted Oats, which is another one of my favorites. So I guess I basically got my two favorite cereals. But this has to last. So hopefully my children will understand that we are not getting any more cereal for Cereal Saturday. And they have to make these last because I'm not ordering any more groceries. Um, I got Purex. So this was another substitution. I actually asked her to get the big um jug of purex but this i guess this was the only one that was left and that's totally fine um because we usually order our laundry detergent via subscribe and save and certain subscribe and save items are like backlogged or they cannot give us our sus subscribe and save items right now um i had to get crafty and my husband says he doesn't mind purex i actually love purex um so we got this so this will last us well we will make it work we will make it work with our family of five last but not least i'm super excited about this this was another substitution so i asked her to get DiGiorno pizzas four and just the regular DiGiorno, um like the rising crust one and she had to substitute the thin crust because they were out of the rising crust and i was like I guess that's fine so i agreed to that and then when it came in and i looked at it i was like oh my gosh this looks delicious <laughs> so i feel like these might be the pizzas that we prefer um which is nice so i'm excited to try those so we got four four of those so that's two pizza nights for us oh <sighs> okay that's all of it okay so this is a pretty small order from Amazon. I just wanted to be able to grab some things to kind of round out our once a month grocery haul for this month and keep us quarantined as long as possible. So um, I did see this sweet and sour shrimp. I actually just wanted to get shrimp period. Um, but they had this and it was a price that I was fine with paying. And I know that I can stretch this so I can add even more veggies to this. Um, and then serve it over rice like they suggest and that can be a, a meal for us i also got flat iron steak so they had flat iron steak and i kind of like the price and i was like i can i can afford that so i got two so we got two flat iron steaks here so i think they're about eight ounces each um and i will stretch that as well uh, marinate them put them and some type of lovely meal, probably a soup for at least one of them because that's a good way to stretch steak. Um, I got this chorizo seasonings turkey sausage. Uh, I was trying to get as many proteins as I could. This actually sounded appetizing. My husband loves chorizo um, and I don't buy it a lot. And I do like the taste of it too, just not a lot of it. So I figured this could be something that again, I can use and we can have like, loaded nachos or um loaded baked potatoes because we have a lot of potatoes in the house and that might be an interesting one so i went ahead and got it it was three bucks so three bucks for a pound of it and i was like that could that could work we can definitely stretch that i got two bags of the organic baby spinach um it was 1.99 a bag which is definitely more than aldi but that's okay Again, this is another one that I'm gonna stretch. One of these bags I think I'm going to use to make my spinach soup recipe, which I'll link um, in the description of the video so you guys can go check that out. And I haven't had it in forever and I just love that recipe. Uh, I got another thing of sour cream because believe it or not, this little thing here is probably one of the things you need to make sure that you have on hand if you are on a very tight budget. You can turn it into a crema, you can um, turn it into like a sweet and sour um syrup for pancakes which i've done i could probably do a video on that and show you guys how to do that add it to soups add it to 
casseroles you need to have sour cream and it's cheap it's cheap so i want to get some more of that <clears throat> um i got this big this is huge i was not expecting this to be this big so it's a big old thing of cauliflower um i will probably use half of this to make a cauliflower soup and then the other half for like a uh, asian stir fry veggie stir fry um or something fun like that so and it that is just humongous was not expecting that uh, i got some ginger from amazon fresh because i saw it and it was available and this is one of the things you need to have on hand if you're trying to fight this virus and keep it out of your house or get it out of your system um you need to have ginger on hand and i love that it's organic so and ginger freezes you can freeze it it freezes beautifully so if you don't use up all of this which we may not um put it in the freezer just freeze it it'll last forever i got just one little thing of um white uh whole mushrooms they had the sliced ones but i like to get them whole and slice them myself uh it just they last longer um so i'm gonna use this again probably in like a stir fry uh, I like to save the stems and use the stems too. And I stretch like meatloaf or any meat, ground beef or ground meat dishes with that. Um, the kids never notice. Uh, so that's what I do with the stems. So I like to get a whole mushroom when I order things um, or when I go to the grocery store. I got some more tomatoes. We have a few left in the fridge. Uh, my husband will eat a tomato like nobody's business. Uh, it's one of the things I could put in his salad to kind of stretch things out. And, you know, if they start looking like they're they're getting rough, I can turn it into sauce. So, um, I got the bag of rainbow peppers. This price was actually very similar to all these prices for the rainbow peppers. So, I was like, okay, that's good. I'll totally take it. Um, and this will be fine. I will use one pepper for each thing that I may want to do. So, one of these will go into that stir fry that I mentioned. Um, it's probably going to be a veggie stir fry, maybe steak. I don't know. Probably just veggie because that's easier. Uh, so, I did get that to kind of stretch things out as well. And then also, last but not least, this is pretty genius. So, we do have a holiday coming up, you guys. Um, so, this is for each kiddo. So that's gonna be in their Easter setup. I don't know if we're doing baskets this year, but their Easter setup, so they each get a treat. Um, so I have to go put that in a safe space so they don't get it now, and they can get it during the holiday. But that's it, guys. That's what I got for Amazon. Here is Amazon Fresh Haul number two. Um, so you saw the other one. This is the second and last haul that I'm doing to make sure that we are stocked. For the month um, i'll start with these because i saw them and they were a very good price and i don't know why i didn't realize they were frozen which makes me even happier uh so these are italian style meatballs i got two of those so we'll probably use one per meal which is pretty fun so we're getting spaghetti and meatballs probably this month or um, meatballs with sauce but with vermicelli i saw this and this was like 30 cents I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't had vermicelli in a million years. And I loved vermicelli when I was little. And it's always been cheap. Um, so I went ahead and got it from Amazon. Uh, I also got some whole milk yogurt. Um, this was kind of pricey. But like I told you guys, in the last part of the haul, um, I've been having a difficult time getting milk, almond milk for the kids. So what we usually do is we do yogurt bowls um, with whole milk yogurt. I have a video on how we do yogurt bowls here um, on the page, so you guys can search yogurt bowls and you'll find the video for that. Um, and then, oh, by the way, since we don't have as much milk, I figured this will be a good um, substitute for like cereal Saturday or um, to have another type of breakfast that the kids can have. And we put all types of fun toppings on top of our yogurt bowl. So that's what that is for. Barley, which I've been looking for. I, I wanted to get it in my last Amazon Fresh haul, but it was actually out uh, because I want to make beef and barley soup. So I showed you guys that beef that I got in the first Amazon Fresh order. Um, and this is going to go with that beef. So I'll make beef and barley soup, which is one of my husband's favorites and mine too. And I don't think, I think only one kid has ever tried it. So we're going to make that delicious. Um, I got some small red beans because they were a ridiculously low price um, on Amazon. And 
I always try to grab as many dried beans as possible, dried bean bags. And I think I only have one or two right now in the cupboard, but I do have beans already cooked and frozen uh, for meals. So these I will probably make, we might have red beans and rice because I got that kielbasa that I showed you guys. Uh, maybe I'll save some of it and make red beans and rice with it. Um, that'll be fun. Or I'll just use the red beans for something. They will definitely come in handy. I got some strawberries because I, because I realized strawberries are actually not looking um, too gross right now. They're looking good in the stores. So I went ahead and got some of those. We may actually use this in a dessert for Easter. Not sure yet. I got some sharp cheddar cheese. This is their Happy Belly line, which is very affordable. I was like shocked at how affordable uh, it was. So I did get two sharp cheddars, even though we got that big block of cheddar. But these two are going to be frozen. So these will be my emergency cheddar blocks. Uh, I did get some broccoli florets because they were a good price. This is in that microwavable bag, but I actually don't really use the bag. I take it out of the bag and I saute it. Um, that's how we eat it. And I got two more bags of their baby spinach. Uh, which is delicious by the way we actually had some tonight with our dinner uh, so two more bags of that and i got some dark red kidney beans um just two cans because again it was like a ridiculously low price i was shocked at the amazon pr fresh prices um so i went ahead and got that um and this might be what i use for red beans and rice or this will be what i use for chili or for our um vegan Mexican soup that I like to make too. I can put red kidney beans in that as well. So there you go. Amazon Fresh haul number two. Okay, I'm back on the couch. <laughs> All right, guys, that is our collective grocery delivery haul for the next month. Um, I'm trying my hardest to not order anything else. I did want to use up as much of our $268 grocery budget um, for the whole month so that way we can legit just be in for the month until this quarantine is hopefully over. Um, I will put the total here for all of those hauls that you just watched. Um, I hope you guys really enjoy this. I know this was a longer one. Again, probably because I was getting winded as I was talking, but um, I like grocery delivery. I really think that at this time it has been very helpful and um, I hope you guys are using it and it's working out for you. If not, or if you found like tips, tricks, hacks to make grocery delivery work for you, please go ahead and comment. Let us know your little hacks on how you make this work within your budget. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to lay down now. <laughs> And um, I will read your comments and reply uh, as you guys are watching this video. Thank you so much. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more, and we'll see you again next time. Bye.